Hey folks, Matt from writeroftheimage.com. We've got a viewer writing in. This is John writing in from Greece. He says, hello sir, my name is John and writing in from Greece. I have learned a lot from your videos. I'm looking to buy my first DSLR and I have three tough questions for you. I like portraits, macro, and astrophotography most. Number one, between the Nikon D5500 and the 18 to 140 millimeter, or the Nikon D7100 and the 18 to 105, which one would you pick? My main concern is image quality and not extra buttons. My, as far as image quality, there's no difference between the two of these. The 5500 is very competent. The 7100 is very competent. If anything, the 5500 might have a smidge better high ISO, but it's so close, I wouldn't rule that as a reason. Um, they're essentially the same sensor. That's why there's really no difference here. So for image quality, I wouldn't be concerned about the two. Me personally, between the two cameras, I will go with the 7100 uh, in almost all situations because I like the more pro body with the dual controls, one designated for aperture and one designated for shutter speed instead of having to toggle between one as you would on the 5500. There are situations where the 5500 might be okay or better, and that would be the fact that it's lighter and smaller. So if you're doing a lot of backpacking or size and weight is the ultimate concern for you, that would be a consideration. I have no problems with the 5500. I just prefer the layouts and the and the, and the more professional controls of the 7100. So up to you on which way you want to go there. Image quality between the two, you're not really going to see any difference. The 18 to 105 is a little less range than the 18 to 140. As far as performance, I would say they're about on par. You're just losing that little bit of extra zoom at the long end on the 105, but I wouldn't uh, think you're getting any better performance out of the 18 to 140 over the 18 to 105. They're both decent performing lenses. Not top of the line, but decent. Number two, your question number two. Like on 105 f2.8 macro or Sigma 105 2.8 macro, brackets for the D5500 or the D7100. Again, doesn't matter which body you're shooting with here. I, I wouldn't influence which lens I was buying. I would go with the Nikon 105 2.8 macro. It's a very nice lens. I like it. I've owned a couple iterations of it. Currently, I have an older manual focus. Uh, it's not even an AFD. It's an older uh, AF. Might just be A. No, it's not AF because it's not autofocus. What am I saying? It's a Nikon uh, 105 2.8 macro and um, it's an older version of that it's actually one that my dad had an older film body and so I've borrowed it off him it's kind of I guess now a permanent loan because he doesn't shoot that camera anymore um, but a great uh, great lens the uh, Sigma 105 not saying it's bad lens just my preference would be the Nikon I have the experience with it um, I've had it in a couple iterations, and I really like that lens. I think it's a very good lens. So that's the reason I would go that route. Uh, you probably would save some money with the Sigma, but I prefer the Nikon. So there you go. In, uh, you have the footnote here in DxO mark. The score is pretty much the same. I can't understand the huge price difference. Nikon is double the price. I think um, you're always going to pay more for OEM stuff, and your resale value is going to be better on it too. My preference is just the Nikon. If you did want the Sigma and, and the DxO Mark score is the same and you're looking at comparable images and things online, you think they're the same, by all means, I'm sure the Sigma is a decent lens. Haven't personally shot it. I've always owned the 105 Nikon in that situation. Number three, my first lens is going to be the 18-140. to 140. I can't decide the second. I like the 50 F18G and the Sigma uh, 105 28. Because I like portraits and macro, I think that the 105 is going to be better all around lens, brackets, bokeh, and close up. But the 50 is very good too. I can only afford one. Which one do you suggest? Well, um, I would think that your reasoning there is kind of, you've already made your, your mind up, and it's, it's, it's a good good reasoning. The, because you like macro and portraits, I would go with the 105 2.8. So, and you seems like you've narrowed it down already to the Sigma. So either one, uh, whatever macro you're going with, but it, I would go with that 105 2.8. Even though I love the 50mm F18G, if you can only afford one and you want it to do both, obviously the Sigma is a macro, so it's going to do both for you. It's also going to be a fantastic portrait lens because it's longer, which is going to give you more compression. So at 2.8 with the added compression, it's going to be a very nice portrait lens. Um, that's why a lot of people like to shoot something a little longer than your traditional 85. It gives you a little more compression. That's why you'll see people shooting 70 to 200 f2.8 lens um, at a longer end for that, that compression and that effect and that nice look. So yeah, I would have no problem with that. I will go with that and then later on you can add the 50. Maybe you can find one used for a decent price. 
Uh, finishing up the email, thanks for your time. Keep going. I apologize for my language mistakes. Uh, please correct me before answering. Friendly John. Actually, uh, very well written. You seem to have a, a very good grasp, better than I do, because I don't speak two languages. I only speak English. So you're ahead of me, my friend. Hope I've answered your questions. I'm going to throw that back out to our viewers. What would you guys do in each of these situations? Would you go with the 5500 or the 7100 with the 5500 with the 18 to 140 or the 7100 with the 18 to 105? What would you do and why? Uh, the 105 Nikon macro or the 105 Sigma macro? Which one would you go with and why? And then uh, for his first lens, uh, because he's doing macro, macro and portraits, I'm backing up his suggestion that he go with the Sigma 105. Would you do the same thing? Let us know what you'd do and why. Leave that in the comments below. Let's help out John. Thank you for your question and stay tuned, folks. We'll be back soon here at rtheimage.com.